We salute you. We salute you. We salute you. We salute you. Hello everyone and welcome to this important virtual event organized by the Faculty of Humanities. I am Camila Naidu and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities. I am very pleased that you're one of our top performers of 2020. Uh, we hope uh, that you will continue to be a top performer, that you will continue to work hard and strive for the best results and make us proud and continue to make your parents proud. You will of course know that the Faculty of Humanities is a faculty that is passionate about what it does. Uh, we're concerned about human beings, the world in which we live, we focus on the troubles of our society and we spend a lot of time thinking about how to fix these particular troubles. We look for solutions. This is what the Faculty of Humanities is all about. We love the study of people and social interaction. For the past few years, we've been focused on trying to think about social change, how we change our social environment, how we improve our circumstances and how we devise strategies for social, economic and political change and our Vice-Chancellor has been guiding us on the fourth industrial revolution. We were geared up this year in 2020 to think about a range of exciting projects and innovations uh, going forward. None of us anticipated the challenges that would face us. This was, uh, this was a completely transformed year in the sense that we faced a pandemic and we also faced a harsh lockdown that all of us struggled with. So I want to commend you as our top performers of 2020. You have put your head down, you've stayed focused, and you've succeeded with such amazing results. So well done to you, class of 2020. Um, I also want to congratulate our tutors who worked day and night to cater for our students. And uh, many of you reached out to your tutors in the late hours of the night. Uh, tutors were there for you, they responded, and these tutors are now getting awards today. Thank you very much to our tutors for the enormously positive role that they played uh, in encouraging you to attain your top results. We can learn from this year by reflecting on the importance of uh, resilience. You are resilient to be able to withstand the enormous pressures and difficulties of 2020. But what do we mean by resilience? Resilience is that attribute that allows you to take note of the various challenges that face you, the traumas and the difficulties, and to say, I'm going to develop that mental attitude that enables me to forge ahead, to withstand these pressures, and to, despite these pressures, craft something positive for myself. So that's a mental attitude that, uh, that you've used and you've adopted and that I would like you to hone and shape and perfect going forward in, in your day-to-day -day lives. Without resilience, you will never achieve anything in life. I'm particularly concerned about students who give up and who drop out. A lot of these students won't be able to do postgraduate studies. So make sure that um, as part of your drive in 2020, you begin to think ahead about what you do after your first degree. Postgraduate studies is the way to go for a successful future, not just in South Africa, but in the world as a whole. So congratulations once again. You have been excellent under very difficult circumstances, and I encourage you um, to, to remain positive, to retain um, an excellent mental attitude, be resilient, love yourself, know yourself, and encourage yourself to attain the best that you can. Reach for the best that you can despite the circumstances. And well done to you, class of 2020. Hello, my name is Brendan Barnes. I'm a professor of psychology. I'm also the vice dean of research and postgraduate studies in the Faculty of Humanities. Let me start off by saying that I am terribly proud of you. Congratulations on your awards and for being the top achievers. You are certainly the cream of the crop um, 
and I'm delighted to welcome you here for this event, even though we are virtual and not face to face. I'll be talking about achievement and what it means um, to achieve things in life. Um, at the moment, I understand how you've got here, your path you've journeyed, the many obstacles you've been through, and the hard work and how that pays off. I know this because I too was once a student. I too walked this journey and I know how hard it is and how you've persevered and pushed through the many obstacles that have come your way. So congratulations on your achievement. Now the word achievement dominates today. Um, achievement of course can mean many things to many people. At the moment your achievements have been characterized by your hard work and perseverance and of course the fact that you've done superbly in your university studies. Your achievements could also be, be, include being a good friend, they could include being a good child, a good sibling, a good family member, community member, or being a good member of your religious community. But I'd also like you to think about achievement um, going forward and what achievement means for you. I would like you to think through the following. I would really like you to continue to aim for the stars, but keep your feet firmly grounded. I would like you to continue to be ambitious and work hard, but to do so with dignity, respect and kindness. I would like you to pat yourself on the back and continue to um, note your achievements on an individual level, but remember that others have walked this journey with you, and so thank them and be grateful to them too. I want you to continue to enjoy your time on this earth, but tread lightly and respect the planet on which we are living. I want you to journey and wander and travel, but always remember your roots. Importantly, I want you to um, treat others with kindness, but be kind to yourself along the way. With these few words, I wish to congratulate you once again and thank you for your hard work and contribution to the Faculty of the Humanities. I um, would like you also to consider continuing your studies with the University of Johannesburg and if you're an undergraduate to continue into postgraduate and if you're in postgraduate to continue all the way to completing your doctoral work. Thank you. Good day. Good day to all of you. It gives me great pleasure to share this great moment in our faculty with you, as it is that time again when we recognize excellence among our students. I'm Professor Dumimoyo, Vice Dean Teaching and Learning in the Faculty of Humanities, and I'm going to talk to you about the TUTA Awards for 2020. Tutors are a critical pillar of our teaching and learning program in the faculty because of the work they do to assist students in their learning process. This is the second time we are awarding excellent tutors in the faculty, and I'm particularly thrilled that we are doing this again in a year that has been characterized by immense challenges in higher education. As you know, we, we all had to rapidly shift to online modes of delivery within a short space of time because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Today we are celebrating those tutors who have stood out in their department for demonstrating extensive knowledge about the topics being taught, immense capability to explain the contents and methods of the discipline in easily understandable ways to, the, to their groups, an ability to communicate clearly and engage with individuals and groups on complex topics. They have also demonstrated that capability and willingness to establish collegial working relationships with students, with lecturers, and also with fellow tutors. I'm proud to say that our tutors this year have risen to the occasion and have been able to provide excellent service to our students despite the challenges posed by the pandemic. They literally hit the ground running and quickly came up with innovative ways of ensuring that tutorials proceeded with minimum disruption, creating WhatsApp groups and other online platforms to ensure direct and seamless support to the students. Many have gone out of their way to field queries beyond midnight 
which is the only time that many of our students could afford to work using cheaper data bundles offered by the mobile networks. All the finalists have been selected through a rigorous process which started with nominations by students in their tutorial groups followed by strict departmental processes. What distinguishes them is a deep sense of duty and commitment to serving fellow students. Underscoring the statement by John Hughes that when passion and hard work intersect, you will find excellence. I want to congratulate all of you today and wish you the very best in your future endeavors. I also want to take this opportunity to thank two key individuals who have done the sterling work of coordinating the selection process for the 2020 Tutor Awards. These are Ms. Dimpo Maponya and Professor Vicky Graham. I also want to thank all our departments for managing the process in a highly professional manner. I thank you all.